guys, it's Timmy here with Clanktronics. So I've got this battery charger that I ordered uh, on eBay and it is, the brand is O-M-A-Z-R-A. And I'll try to add that, the actual, I'll just copy and paste it from eBay. But it actually came in an Amazon box. I thought that was kind of odd. But let's, this one, I already took the big box off of it. The way it came in the mail was a bigger box with some, um, this air cushions in it. So it's got styrofoam on the top. Really simple. Little bevel for the top of that thing. I was really curious on the quality of this because it was a lot cheaper than the other one I could find. Okay. The little jumper cables seem kind of small diameter wire. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, like, that's okay though. I can always make different ones. That's really what I was planning on doing. Because I'm going to use this to charge my e-bike. Uh, I've got an R. Martin Limited 2008 that I'm working on. It's a good reason to subscribe, guys, so you can watch other videos of me restoring the R. Martin. And who knows what else people are going to bring me in the future. So I'm going to try to be really careful cutting this zip tie. Always cut away from yourself. <laughs> And we've just got a regular old desktop power cord for this thing. Comes with a really short cord, um, just a few feet long. And I actually grabbed a battery that I had on my, uh, I have a shelf of batteries here. And this one said it works, it held a charge. I probably tested this years ago, so. Um, I just checked it with my multimeter, but I'll do it again for the video's sake. And let's see here, negative to positive, there we go. 2.4 volts is what it reads right now, which is great. I mean, for it to be sitting for years and still have a charge, that means it's probably still good. So I just went ahead and just went for it and plugged it in. But I didn't read, didn't see any instructions really. Maybe it, it could be under the styrofoam. I'm really bad about that. Um, nope. No instructions. That's okay though. Um, pretty straightforward, guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it for a second because I need to hook up these terminals. And on the, the front of this, it's J-O-H-S-U-N Tech, T-E-C. Um, and it's model CB. It has some good weight to it, so that's, that's a good sign. I'm pretty sure this is the brand that it was listed at on eBay. So I might be getting things mixed up, but I'll put it on the description for the video. That is so cool. So we got really nice responsive switches on this. So you guys can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six different settings for the, the charger. I'm gonna start out on low and I'm gonna stay at 12 volts for now. And it also has this H in between each one. I'm guessing that's to charge it faster, I guess. Um, so I've got, a, got another zip tie. I'm just being careful. I don't want to cut myself. There we go. Hopefully I can fit these on this battery because <laughs> it's not a very these these uh little jumper cables this comes with seem like just something you get at the dollar store 
uh, it's, or like a little kid's toy or something. It's just so chintzy. Um, so far, that's really my biggest, the, the worst thing about it. And <laughs> I'm gonna, I might have to do something else. Aha! At least I can get that hooked on there for now. I'm gonna disconnect one side. And this just came with ring terminals. And they did a, they're soldered on, so that's good. They, they definitely did a lot of solder, but that's a good sign. You know, they, they at least did it right. And I'm not gonna go through all the different uh, charging settings on this video. I hope to do a video in the future though because my e-bike runs at 60 volts and it's uh, five 12 volt batteries hooked together in series so it's a good reason to subscribe guys uh, if you want to find out more about this charger I'll most likely do another video on it in the future um, Those are so chintzy, guys. I, I don't know. I really hope that this is better than those little jumper cables, because that's those are kind of a joke. Hopefully I have all my settings right. Let's see here. So I'm on low. I'm on 12 volts. And I'm plugged in right now. I'm just like, just barely making connection on this battery. All right, so we're just gonna flip it on. And what do we got going on on the front of this thing? Mm, didn't really move at all, right? No. It is a pretty dead battery. Let's go ahead and see what it's showing on the multimeter though. Like what are these little jumper cables doing? 12 volts? 12.3? So it, it definitely charged a 12 volt battery. It's not defective like right when I get it. The um, Those connectors they should definitely invest a little bit more into that but it is a really affordable charger for what it can do um, I guess I am pretty curious about uh, the other the other settings on this so I'll just scoop this TV out of the way for a second try not to short anything out because I don't have a battery to check and I'm also curious, you know, some of these have uh, settings built in or, you know, protection circuits that limit, uh, you know, you can't be charging if there is no battery, if it detects zero voltage. Let's see about that. That would be something I would be curious about if I was to buy this. So we got 11 volts. Okay. Let's go ahead and crank it up. I don't know if high is going to change anything really. Just 12 volts. It's going to change the amperage probably. 24. 22.6. Okay. Seems good. 33.6 on the 36 volt setting. Sounds right. Let's see here, 48, we get 44.9 volts. And we get 56 volts on the 60 volt setting. Let's see if the high does anything different, or the H, whatever it stands for. Nope, the 60.4. And this would change how fast, I'm gonna crank it all the way up just to see if it changes my voltage at all. Huh. 
pen. That's kind of odd. There we go. So that gives me 68 volts on this setting. That was kind of weird. Just, just one thing I've noticed so far is that if you turn this dial all the way to the right, all the way to where it, it doesn't really have a click there, but it kind of tricked me. I get 10 volts right there. So that's not actually a setting. That one is. So on the high setting, we get 69 or 68, depending. And then we can click that to the middle right there. 64. How cool. So you get a whole wide range of voltages here by having all these adjustments. So on the low setting, you get 56 volts. Well, I'm just happy it works, guys. Like, I'm going to wire in my own terminals. I wouldn't recommend really using these. I mean, you could cut the things off and use the wire, I guess, but that's, uh, that's really awesome. If there's something about this that I hate and it's just you shouldn't buy it or something, I will uh, put it in the comments or post another video or something like that, but I would say this is just what I needed. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Be sure to like this video. It helps me out a lot.